In this video, I'll be demonstrating my Mark III radiant energy transmitter. So, just runs off a of DC power supply. Extremely efficient. Special top load. Specially coated. Some things on it will be kept uh, secret. And I do sell this for $350 a kit. Okay. So as you see, nothing is lit. This is just an antenna. I'll turn it on. As you see, we have ignition off, on, off, on. And when I touch this, they all get brighter. And we're consuming 20 volts, less than, less than one amp, a little over half an amp. Here's the radiant energy effect touch this little receiver light to anything metal and it will light up so here's the radiant energy effect notice how better grounding the receiver Makes them get brighter. Extreme range on fluorescence. And I can crank that up much higher. And for people who say you can't get high amperage out of a Tesla coil, you're dead wrong. I will take my special diode configuration, connect it to my coil, and I should not even be showing this. So, my special bridge rectifier will now be connected to my coil as you can see bridge rectifier is connected to the primary of the coil and when that field collapses it, it energizes the rectifier so now I will take that output and we'll hook it to a halogen bulb 150 watt and we'll get it to one quarter intensity My multimeter out of the way, we don't need that. Turn it up. And this is the part that gives more power out than in. So, that's our power consumption. Disconnected. 800 milliamps connect it and while it's running that we still have wireless power and the radiant energy effect so let that sink in That is the over unity output. We'll 
see how much amperage is at that output. So we have got three amps, 3.7 amps DC. There's the input voltage, input current, output amperage, output voltage. So as you can see, it's clearly more. It doubled. 53 volts DC output with almost 4 amps so even if my math is dead wrong this output is still over unity by a lot so now we'll hook up the load again the incandescent I should not even be showing this without charging people a lot of money. So that's hooked back up. Running. Turn off a lot of heat. Let's see if I can tune it a bit on current. Heat power consumption under one amp, that'd be nice. Okay. It's giving off a lot of heat. So, bulb not running. 700 milliamps. That bulb's using a lot more than uh, 300 milliamps. I can feel the heat coming off that. Key to making that work is a grounded antenna. Connects to the earth ground. I'll unplug it. It gets much dimmer. Hook it back up. You can see it's sparking. Hopefully you can see the sparking. The system is sucking power out of the earth. So, we'll do a current and voltage check again at that output. So, voltage while running the load is 19.2 volts. Voltage with load disconnected is 50 volts. Current is 2.73 amps DC. We'll just say it's 2.65 to play it safe. So we're more than double our output. Our output's almost double our input. So I'll move the meter. Again, that's the voltage. Anyway, we're done with the meter. It's just getting in the way and falling down. We can run these smaller halogen bulbs no problem still have the radiant energy and if 
you want to know if it can run motors, the answer is it absolutely can. It's a 120 volt drill motor. Whoops, lost the connection. There we go. So, that's running almost medium force. Still got wireless power. And yeah, I'll let you guys just uh, think about that. Stay creative.